Hello everybody, I'm Spizzler here, and welcome to Potatoes Farm. Now, this is a very weird game because on itch.io it's called S Submission, but then it's like, hey, this is Potatoes Farm, and apparently this was a part of a Dread X collection at some point. I don't know when, I don't think I own the Dread X collection as a part of, so... Yeah, it's gonna be very interesting, so let's see what all we have. We'll get in here. Oh. Oh! That was a smooth fade in. Hi, I'm Potato. And I love apples. I wonder to. I wandered too far from the farm looking for them. I'd love to show you the farm. Follow me. Maybe we'll meet some friends on the way. Use WASD to move and mouse to look around. And be sure to keep an eye out for apples. Okay. Oh, there's an apple right there. Can I get that? Um. Uh. Look to too. Hey, it's my pal Ducky. Hi there, Ducky. Hello, Potato. What the fuck? What you up to? Why are his eyes flying off of his body? Uh, my arms are too short to pick up this apple. Could you help me out? Why don't you give it a shot? Walk up to the apple and click when the dot turns to a ring. You did it! Well, we better keep going. See you later, Ducky. What? That's weird. Can I now just pick up apples? Can I pick up this one? I can. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna try to pick up every single apple I see. This is a diverging path. The bird is freaking out a little bit. There's <laughs> a tree with no textures. Okay, one thing that I did note about what I saw from the description of this game, it seems that this is gonna be a more of like a meta horror game. Well, hello there, Fluff. Greetings, Potato. Looking for apples, I see. Yep, got my new friend helping me, too. Why is that sheep just freaking out in the fucking wall? Wonderful. Have you explained how apples work yet? Not yet. Please do. Okay. Apples recharge your gambit engine. What is that? Which has direct effect on the overdrive trigger. Uh... Solar alignment is also important, but we'll get to that later. Is this... Is this a meta horror game making fun of how... Of some game design decisions? Because there are some games that have, like, fucking... This affects this, and then this affects this, and then this affects this. <laughs> and it's ridiculous. Uh, all you need to know for now is that those things control what you can craft. But none of that matters if we don't have enough apples. right -o. So we better get back to it. See ya, Fluff. What? What did he say? They keep, like, saying things after he leaves. I'm so confused. Can I go through this fence? Is this, like, an actual barrier? It's an actual barrier. Okay. Do I need to get around this barrier? Is this like an optional path, or is that somewhere I'm going later? I think that's somewhere I'm going later. Alright, I guess we'll just follow Potato. Alright. Oh, it's Moo Moo. Hello, friend. Howdy, Potato. What you up to? Are you supposed to be the cow that's over there in that cave? I saw you. I also just realized I might have walked past a potato. Walk past an apple. Uh, you know... You know me looking for apples. That's awesome. I'm just on my way back to the farm. The gate is closed, though. Could you help? Sure, let me... Let me and my pal take a look. Thanks, fellows. I think the cow's dead. There's just a blood... There's just a blood splatter. Hmm, the gate is closed. Ah, looks like we need ten apples to continue. Can you help me find ten apples? 
All right. Uh, looks like we're looking for ten apples. Let's see how this goes. Are we just off chain looking for ten apples now? Yeah, as I thought. This is open now. Okay, Moomoo is dead over here in front of the cave. Moomoo just got dragged off. <laughs> I'm very concerned. Is there another apple somewhere? Did I miss? That doesn't mean apple I missed somewhere. Ah! Almost walked straight past me. Almost, almost walked straight fucking past that one. That's, that's something special. Alright. Uh, well, fucking Roto sheep here. Also, bird with eye conditions. Okay, I thought I had bad eyesight, but uh, at least my eyes stay attached to my head. <laughs> There's so many confusing things going on. Also, kind of eerie things at the same time, given the atmosphere of the game versus what's actually happening. Like we have straight up blood stains and shit ever. Hmm, it's still not opening. Why don't you double-check that you didn't miss anything? I'm never gonna make it to the fucking farm, am I? This is definitely one of those weirder games. For sure. And oh! What is that? What are you? Weird... Pile of... Whatever the fuck this is. Is that Moo Moo? Oh! What happened? What happened? I'm confused what happened. Oh. All project save data has been corrupted. No backup save data. Hey, just a quick reminder. The final game builds are due to us tomorrow. Okay, Ted. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is getting... Oh, the, here's the meta part. Okay. What the fuck? <laughs> Shit. Corpse file thing. What the fuck? Part of the Dread X Collection 3. Oh. Submission. Ah, oh, I see why it's called submission now. Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck? I thought that was the ending. <laughs> I was just gonna be like, oh shit, another short horror video. What the hell? Okay, that is a much different experience. Fucking... What? <laughs> My brain is having to process now what the fuck's happening. My... Hyman... Hyman and you. Is that an actual movie? Star Rats? Okay. Make the submission. 12 hours left. That's so interesting. I'm very curious. There has to be something. <laughs> University of Placeholder. <laughs> I almost walked straight past that. That's fucking funny. <laughs> Associate's degree in environmental storytelling. <laughs> From Placeholder University. This is so weird. Very high quality, though. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is like... An actual game about making games. Okay. You appear to have be having a problem. Would you like to enable easy mode? What is this? Harmony Game Engine. This is like a version of Unreal. This looks like the Unreal port. Uh, click the debug button if you, if you get stuck. What the fuck? Hi, I'm Cody. It looks like you're making a game. Yay. I can help with that. First thing you'll need is an environment. You could spend countless hours modeling the perfect environment. But you clearly don't have the skill and that takes too long. Luckily, you can just give one from your asset store. Yay. Take a look. Oh my god, it's like the fucking Unreal Engine asset store. <laughs> Uh-oh, doesn't look like you have enough money to buy anything. Yeah, what do we have? Murder Morgue? Creepy Church? HQ House Hallway? 
Uh, see if you can find some money and jam it in your computer. <laughs> Hard to exit computer, all right. Oh, God, this is going to be, like... It's going to be making fun of, like, fucking amateur game design and stuff. <laughs> No fucking way. <laughs> that's... That's amazing. I love that. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> Yay, now I... Now you can buy an asset. Creepy church. Oh, nice choice. It's literally the only thing I could fucking buy. Go ahead and close the asset store. The game preview is fucking weird looking. Okay, next thing you'll need is some audio. We actually don't have any on, on the asset store, because licensing is a pain. But I'm sure you can have something lying around. An old CD, perhaps. This this is making fun. I, I, know, I know exactly what this is making fun of. This is making fun of people who, who act like it's super easy to fucking make games. Which it is not. I've been learning. And I'm taking the fucking kind of simpler route, which is um, using Unreal Engine's blueprint system. And it's still like an entire learning curve. Oh, this is a CD. This does not look like it would be a CD. It looks like a fucking horror movie or some shit. Okay, I have put the thing in. And that should do it. Yay, go ahead and run the build. Build. Okay. Decrease quality and resolution for better performance. Loading build. What in the fuck? I wish it was that easy. There are some game engines that are actually really simple. I've like been testing out different game engines. There are some that are like just drag and drop, but even then they're not that easy because you have to make the assets yourself. And even then, a lot of times they have like entire things. I found one that's actually really cool and free. It's like an itch. It's a Game Boy development engine. So you make games for actual Game Boy games. It's really cool. It's GB Studios. Very cool. Uh, error. Missing mechanic. R to exit build. Oh, I see. So we are actually, like, going into, like, the fact that it's actually not that simple to make games. <laughs> And that you need to add the mechanics yourself and actually program everything correctly. And not be a fucking idiot. <laughs> so yeah, th that was about all I have on like my Unreal Engine then. Because <laughs> I'm currently making the level so that I can actually add the mechanics. <laughs> uh, looks like you're missing a mechanic. Mechanics require a bit of code, but I'm here to help. Go ahead and click on the code button. Code. Code is just a combination of functions and syntax. That is very true. That's why a lot of things can have like block coding and or just visual scripting elements. Uh, find the right combination and try to compile the read mechanic. Uh, give it a shot. Try to spell read using syntax one. I don't know how the fuck read. How do I spell read with this? Hold on. There we go, read. Compile. Output read. Yay, you did it. That is more confusing than actually learning blueprints. <laughs> that was a bit more confusing than actually fucking learning blueprints. Because once I got the hang of some blueprints, I kind of started gaining some momentum. Because the thing about game design is that it's all about like learning how to fuck to use the thing you're using. If you're using a game engine, if you're just coding it yourself, just learning the code is the main thing. <laughs> and then testing it and bug fixing it and shit like that. Uh, try giving the build another run with your new mechanic. Alright. Let's see. Loading build. Okay, we now have a new mechanic. We don't have a run. This is very interesting. Read. Uh, the submission of saving. Uh, an arm to support the belief. An animal to acknowledge the desire. A candle to guide the faith. Collect and place all items on the sacred symbol. 
I saw the candle. Candle's over here. Error! Missing mechanic. Hold R to exit. Alright. This is so interesting. Tip, listen to Cody. Uh, if you're... What? I didn't get to read that one. Well, I've taught you all there is and know about... to know about game development. Remember, take a re take a, take a rest or return from a build with R at any time. The rest is up to you. Good luck. Uh, I've compiled that already. How do I add a new mechanic? Okay, so we need... I don't know what we need to spell. Hold on. Maybe we need to rest? I'm not sure. Oh, hey, cool. There's money. We can slap more money into our PC. That's funny. Alright. Okay, is there anything else we can do in here? Or is that it? Gotta be something else. 11 hours left. Okay, ideas. Music 2. Compiles. Compile collection. Valley of Guilt. Outsource to... I don't know who the fuck that is. To a sis... Sis What? <laughs> Take money and disappear. <laughs> That's funny. Doors open. Notes read. Take slash, slash use. Item. Oh, I have to spell item. Thank you, submission board. Uh, for instance, Delta sent one read. Uh, I hope people like it. Corp file. This is so cool. Like, as someone who's been learning game development, that is so cool. I love this. This is amazing. Okay, so syntax 2 should be... I need to spell item. So what's something that has like an I in like the second spot? Ah, there we go. Okay. And... Yeah. Item. Compile. There we go. Okay, so there's like three different syntaxes. Okay, so I need the candle. Okay, we put them on the symbol, and then... Oh, wait, do I need to do open? Do I have more than one mechanic active, is my question. I wonder if it'll save the item that I took. Purchase more assets. There's a sale! On HQ House Hallway. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is very interesting, so I need to spell... Open probably here. Which I somehow managed to also do. <laughs> Almost. Yen. There we go. Open. There we go. Build. Okay, so that's how this works. That's how this works. Hmm. Hello, Cody. Something went wrong. Whoops, I think you saw a bug or something. Here, I'll give you a free asset if you keep your mouth shut. Free, more murder morgue. Alright. Yay, now stay the fuck out of that room. Okay, so Cody's a bit of a psychopath. Good to know. HQ hallway, let's go there. Okay, we have the open ability active. So we should be able to open doors and shit. That is such an interesting mechanic. Okay, we need a code. We're looking for the other items. Probably to bring back to that one level. Cody, where the fuck are you? I know you're here somewhere. Oh, there's a note to read again. Very interesting that we still have the candle, even though we're in a completely different level. Oh, this is a PT thing. Yay! What in the fuck? Oh, there's a knife. Okay, well, we still have the open function. Um, what in the fuck? Missing mechanic. Alright. Very concerning. To say the least. Um, okay, so we have PT mechanics going on here. I don't know how much the PT mechanics are going to go. Oh, no, wait, what am I doing? It's not escape, it's R. <laughs> I'm dumb. An Unreal Engine, in order to leave your uh, build, it is actually R. Or actually escape. Not R. I'm dumb. 
Okay, so... Wait a minute, let me just leave the computer a second, make sure there's not, like, a bunch of shit somewhere. Eight hours left, shit. Oh no, I'm so fucked, everyone's gonna be so mad, oh my god. Remember to wipe your butt full. Yeah, I kind of relate to that. As someone who's been working on a game, fucking time just flies. The same with working with mods and shit. It, it, it just goes. Like, one minute it'll be normal time, and then suddenly it's some ridiculous time. What the hell? Okay, I'm thinking we need to change it over to read. Compile. Read. This is a very interesting fucking little game. Has it kept all the doors open? Yes, it has. Good. Read. Hi, honey. The kids found a dead bird that flew into the window upstairs. They want, they want to have a funeral for it, but wanted to wait until you got home. I put it, the bird, in a shoebox under the bathroom sink. For now, the code for the lock is the year you were born backwards. Okay. I have to go back for the birthday card, don't I? There was the birthday card back here. Happy birthday! Uh, happy birthday! You're... You're my favorite 35-year-old in this house. Love, Jay. Okay, Yuri was born. So, backwards. So, zero two zero two. No, if it'd be 35... God, it was 35 years ago. Oh, no. Uh, let me grab a calculator real quick. One second. 1985. So, five... Eight, nine, one. I think. I think. This is so eerie. But I fucking love it. Oh yeah, I need to change it to open again, don't I? So I need to change this back to open. So back here. Compile, please. That is a very weird way of coding that. But that is fine. So if my thing is correct, it should be five... Eight nine one, and now I need to change it to item again. So we leave, we change it to item, and then we come back and grab it. I'm fine. Item. My brain is failing to remember things. Okay, we'll get this, then we'll take the break because you know it's probably gonna have been a while, and then we leave the PC for a second because Jesus Christ. I could only imagine. Oh, hey. The I'm just realizing now that this room is slowly and s slowly getting more and more, like, trashed as time goes on. Yeah, there's a fucking burger on top of the computer now. God, why does this look like my setup <laughs> when I'm coding? No. Five hours left? Fuck. Uh, so... Okay, we've got all the code shit, but now we just need to change to Murder Morgue. Ian. Open. We'll change it to open. Hopefully that is correct. And then... We'll see. Alright. Do I need to open this? There's, not a, there's no door to open here, is there? Oh, no, wait, there is. Don't see anything to read. Don't see any item to pick up. Tim, be careful with corpse number one. The right arm is almost completely severed. Number two is on the table. Oh, we need access to number one eventually. Number three seems to be missing. Hi, good sir. Do I need to get a saw of some kind? Do I have a saw? I need his arm. I need the arm. Is it weird that I'm immediately just going to sawing off the guy's arm? I don't know what to do here. There's nothing like telling me that there's a missing mechanic or anything. So we're just gonna really quick go change to item. Item. There we go. Okay, let's go in. Let's see if this is actually how the fuck it's done. Where's... Oh, that's fucking... What? Oh, that is... That's fucked. That's fucked. It's using the margins. 
It's using the margins of the screen. Number two is no longer on the fucking table. What do I need? 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 What do I need, actually? Like, what do I need? Do I need to leave? Should I just leave? Should I... I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm not dealing with that. No. I should have left. Okay. Good to know. Cody, you got anything to say about that? No, nothing. I don't know if it's broken or if I'm just stupid. It might, it's probably just that I'm stupid, but, you know. Hold on, we're going to go to the one area we haven't gone to, or at least haven't visited since we got the bird. Oh, wait a minute. The knife is in here. Oh my god, I'm stupid. I ate item again. I completely forgot that there's a knife sticking out of the cow. I'm gonna take the knife. Okay, now that we have the knife, since I completely forgot that was a fucking thing. Uh, does the time change? No? Nothing, nothing else seems to have changed in the room either. Okay, now we're gonna go to the murder morgue build and get the arm. Hi, ghosty boy. Still hiding off in the area. There we go. We got the arm. Leaving. Goodbye. Fuck you. We have all three items. We now put them in the creepy church. This is a far different game than we were expecting, but I love it. <laughs> this is now one of my favorite horror games. Jesus Christ. Oh, it's so interesting. What in the fuck did I just make? Is that the bird? Build successfully submitted. Oh. Oh, make the submission, make the submission, make the submission. You can still save them. Make the submission, make the submission, make the submission, make the submission, make the submission. How do I... What do I do? Oh, God. Can I go this way? What do I... What do I do? You can still save them. The candle. Oh, oh, oh. Um. Make the submission? There's a dead bird. Where's the arm? Where am I gonna get an arm? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. Hmm. What the fuck? What in the fuck? The submission of saving has been completed. You know what must be done. This is your final chance. What? Potatoes revenge. Buck apples. What? What? M mouse to aim, WSD to move, left mouse button to shoot, R to reload. What? I'm killing Cody. Oh. Fuck you, Cody. Fucking psychopath. Damn, okay. This just... There's so many things about this that are just fucking cool and I love it. Oh my god, this is fucking awesome. Dear god. Yeah, let's see me. Sorry, are you a donkey or a horse? Why are you making donkey sounds? Why are you going? Hee -haw, hee -haw.
Dear God, dear God, dear God. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. <laughs> get fluff to the truck. Oh, I see. I've gotta get my friends. I really hope there's a health system. Find duck. Find ducky. All right. We're looking for the duck. Okay, ducky, where are you? Ducky, where are you? Ducky, where are you? This is just one of those shooters that's like no health items. Do I use apples? No? Oh god. Ah, got ducky. Get ducky in the truck. Alright. Got it. Oh, I can get two at once. My bullets don't travel too far though. A little concerning. Find Moo Moo. Shit! Press R to retry. Alright. I fucking love this. This is awesome. This is a wacky game, but I fucking love it. This is this game gets wacky at times, but it is fucking great. I love this. It has a perfect mix of horror and comedy, and it is amazing. This is how games work. Okay, I can get the duck and the sheep pretty easy now. Piss up, Cody. Psychotic bastard. Their spawn points are right there. That's what's fucking me. I'm just walking right into their fucking spawns. Okay, find Moo Moo. Now for the one that I don't know where the fuck it is. Do, do they spawn out of the truck now? Where's the cow? Where's the cow? Where's the cow? Moo Moo? Are you back here? Yes, you are. Okay, so they don't spawn until you need them. <laughs> Why is the fucking cow dancing? So many of them. Reload, reload. Okay, I do need to like occasionally take a second just to mow them down. As quickly as fucking possible. Jesus Christ. You move into the truck. There we go. Okay. Fucking hell. The end. That? Really? <laughs> Cody's refactored. 52. Played. That was fucking cool. That was fucking cool. I love that. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was fucking awesome. It was so weird, but so awesome at the same time. I love that. But yeah, um... Anyway, guys, this has been Submission. I hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you should join the ranks of the SCP Foundation, do shoot the like button, slay those comments, and contain the subscribe button. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all next video, live stream, or do the next. Peace, guys.